these sports hot topics, hot opinions, and the spiciest memes. I'm Marissa Roberto. Yes, you are. And I'm Brody Moore. Producer Tyler's got two minutes on the board and topics to be discussed at the bottom of your screen. At any point in time, when one of us gets out of line and definitely needs to shut the other up, we got a button here to shut them up for 30 seconds. Yeah, that's going to be you. We like it when you play along, though, in chat. So give us the a what for ya. We can take it. Let's get to our first story here. We're going to dive right in because it's a very controversial topic for our first story, stream sniping. Ooh. Ninja, Dr. Lupo, and Tim the Tatman were streaming and playing Fortnite together when the group was confronted by a stream sniper. Ninja, upset at the, at the sniper, asked if it was up to streamers to get stream snipers banned. Tim and Lupo both said stream snipers were just part of the job, but Ninja said that he felt like Epic Games owed it to streamers to manage and prevent stream sniping. The trio discussed the question for a while, but were interrupted before they settled on an answer. So, Brody, well, do you think Epic owes it to streamers to try to protect them from stream sniping? I'm glad that we can finish their conversation yes. and our opinion will be final. Yeah, it's part of the job. It's part of the job. Really, at the end of the day, like you picked a profession of Ian. This we is hit so it early. early for hit a, it an early. End of the day. Yeah. <laughs> uh, really, though, you picked a profession. That's you're not gonna. No job is perfect. Mm. Like, look at me. I have to deal with you, <laughs> right? So. <laughs> That's hilarious. But really, no, 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 there's going to be things about your job you don't like. There's going to be yeah. things about the game you don't like that you're yeah. going to have to grind through, right? I mean, like, sure, you like the game. You can play the game. Just don't stream it then if you don't like the stream snipers. You have the option to avoid stream snipers. Um, stream sniping is, it's, it's, it's really hard. Like, unless there is a direct, this is a violation in terms of service, um, which it very well might be, then how do you, how do you counteract it? So if you think it's going to be on Epic, Give them a reason yeah. how, or an uh, example on how they can do it. Well, they Otherwise, have to, yeah. deal with it. They have to be reported, first of all. They've got to be reported. They've got to figure out who the, the gamer is and then yeah. just report that name. And so maybe from there, Epic can take it into their own hands. Absolutely. But this is not just an Epic problem. This is a gaming problem. This is a streamer problem. This happens to streamers constantly that oh, are I big. Have like, too, yeah. you, exactly. You, did you say you have them too? Uh, yeah, I get people stream sniping me too in ranked matches, <laughs> which is frustrating. But if I'm streaming, I kind of have to deal with it. Um, okay. You know, I'll have people, they'll, they'll join in. It's the best though when they join in and they're on the other team uh -huh. and I destroy them. It's the worst when they're on my team and then we lose because it's their fault. Right. But I look at it as a challenge. Okay, you know, this is an added challenge. If I really don't like it, I know my people enough, I can say, hey guys, this is really frustrating for me as a streamer. For sure. You know, when you're bigger like Ninja, you can't do that, but I gotta deal with it. And I just look at it like an extra challenge. Uh, yeah, I guess you just add that to the list of things that Ninja has to deal with. That's the thing, like the bigger you get, the harder people are going to try to make you fall. So stream sniping is definitely going to be a part mm -hmm. of that. It's hard, to, it's hard to feel bad when they got so much money. Mm -hmm. That's the main issue. But that's two minutes for that. We solved all the problems there. Yeah, Next sure. month, we'll see the release of Samurai Showdown, the latest entry in the classic fighting game franchise. Like most fighting games these days, it will come with a season pass that will grant access to future DLC characters. Mm. But Sam Show is taking a different approach to the season passes than most. If you buy the game within the first five days of release, the season pass is free. Oh. Marissa, is this the best approach we've ever seen? Because I'm on board. <sighs> What, isn't this the thing already? No. Isn't this well, like a thing? Don't no. people like? Isn't this like buy DLC? And you, but if you bet, get the first one, like you get everything for that's free. The, that's like the that's a, it's a pass. model. Yeah, it's a season pass. But model. nobody's done it like this. You get the season pass for free if you buy the game within the first five days. Usually, uh, okay. it doesn't matter how, when you buy the game. You still have to purchase the season pass afterwards, which mm. is extra money on top of it. Yeah, but now, okay. it, it's almost like this is this is like the next level of pre-orders. It's like, yeah. okay, you don't have to pre-order the game. But if you come in really, really quickly and get the game in the first five days, then you get the season pass for free. You better line up to get that free stuff. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I mean, why not? This is a way for people to make money off of their games and buy it early. Because remember, they have to impress the people that invested in their company, right? The people that invested in their game. And the mm -hmm. only way to really impress them is to get those sales right away, right out the gate. So this is a great way for them to do that. Why not? Like, you got to market the game somehow. And this is a great way to do it without, you know, lining other people's pockets to make sure that they market for you. You do your own marketing. You make sure people get your game. You make sure to give them incentive to do so. It's perfect. Or should the game just not have a season pass and all that content should be free if they've already made it? Oh, rip. Uh, that's not how games work now, Brody. You should know that. But it should. 
It really should. Yeah, no, I agree, but that's not how... You like, made the content already. No, I know, but, like, you're still a company. You're making a game, right? So you want to make sure that you can keep employing the people that you have in your employ. You want to be able to pay them, so you need to make sure that people are still buying stuff in your game. This is why mobile game developers, this is why they have very successful companies, because they have premium they models. because they use dirty tactics. Because they have premium models, a very addictive model that keeps people coming back for more. So, so when you're we should a roll game over like as this, gamers and just say... No, we're not. Uh, who, who's rolling over as a gamer right now? Who's rolling over? Are we not entertained? Are, we Are not you having not a good time? entertained? Are we not enjoying ourselves as gamers? Why can't these games? It's their company. Let My them do what they want. Not. Then don't buy it. But then I can't play any game. Oh God, you're being such a baby. It's ruining Every games. Everyone's favorite streamer, Jimmy Juggernaut, is coming to E3 in June. Netflix announced via its Twitter account that it will attend the gaming conventions with new games that are based off the Netflix originals. Stranger Things 3, the game, was announced back in December, but it looks like Netflix isn't content to just have one game under its portfolio. So, this is exciting. I is suppose, it? Brody, but it is seems it? like you're not excited. Is Netflix, is this Netflix move into video games maybe a good one for the platform? Oh, I'm sure it'll be a good move if done right. Here's yeah. the thing, though. We've seen so many times over and over and over again of video games being made into movies and shows, and that usually doesn't go well. And I'm pretty sure we've seen the examples of vice versa as well. Yeah. The issue is that the two mediums are different and they interact differently, right? One is passive entertainment, the yeah. other is active entertainment. Mm -hmm. And they don't work just by simply translating. You need to have a game plan ahead of time. My worry is they're gonna take all these uh, franchises that they already have mm -hmm. without having that forethought to be like, maybe this will be a game and design the show around a potential future release of a game. Mm. If they do that before the show is made, maybe you'll have a good chance. I just see a bunch of crappy games being released, to be honest. I mean, like, we're going to get a bunch of, like, 50 out of 10 no, or 100 why? Okay, first of all, why games. would Netflix want to make something bad? They've got the money to make <laughs> Look it at good. Look half their shows. No. <laughs> Okay, shut up. <laughs> they've, they've got a good handful of shows that are excellent, so why wouldn't they try to make sure they have the best possible video game? We see other TV shows make decent video games. Like, the South Park games are actually a lot of fun to play. Yeah. Okay, so that there is something there. Even, like, um, Adventure Time. They've come up with a lot of different games that were really great. Some of them not so much, but some of them were awesome. So there is potential here There's for us potential. to enjoy ourselves. Exactly. So I, why are you pooping I see all over the, uh, the potential? I see a lot of really mediocre games coming out and flooding the market. Potentially, what, how take is that an idea. From how, what's I bet you they're right going to be built off different? of games that are already existing, and they're just going to like probably steal a lot of ideas, flood the market with bad games. That's going to be the standard for games, and then our gaming quality just degrades as a whole in the industry. Holy smokes! You've really taken a jump. You've making <laughs> a large amount of assumptions here yeah. that that could go well, in a very negative happened, place. So I have to make assumptions. Why would you make a negative <laughs> assumption, guys? Stop making ne negative assumptions about things, okay? Like. Things might be good. Ex Let's just wait and see. Hope for the best, expect the worst. Uh, That's how you live life the best. You're not even hoping for the best right now. You have short and proud. You want them to fail. Lastly, uh. a brand new Twitch app is letting streamers mess with streamers playing certain games. Called Crowd Control, which sounds very familiar, mm. viewers can donate bits to spawn items, enemies, and other obstacles for streamers. For example, you can spawn a mushroom for a streamer playing Super Mario Bros. 3. Yes. The app currently supports 12 games, which includes Pokemon Red Blue, Dark Souls, and Link to the Past. Oh my goodness. Marissa. Yep. What do you think? I mean, like, we've already seen interactive games before. It's a thing, but now, there's a way to monetize this yeah. for the streamers. That's and exciting. That's so someone like you, who definitely needs more bits donated. Yes, I do. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is very exciting. Yes. Right? Yeah. I like it. <laughs> I really enjoy this. Um, as a streamer, it's just what Twitch has done such a good job. They do bad things here and there, but they also do such a good job of making sure that the content creators. Um, have ways to support themselves. It is actually, once you get to affiliate or partner, it is actually fairly easy to make it like a, not comfortable, but like a living off it. Like you can do streaming mm. with much lower numbers than you really think you need. Mm. And this just adds on to that. This is such, uh, like we've, again, we've already seen so many people try. I play games like Move or Die where my yeah. chat I can spam stuff to, you know, change my game or whatever and try to kill me in the yes. game. But there's no incentive for them to, to do that, you know, it's like, or for me to play those games even. Okay. Like, why am I playing this game, uh, you know, it's, if but it's boring. But now only you have now, incentive, but they have to give money. Yes, <laughs> which is great. <laughs> 
For the streamer, for sure. No, obviously it's great that Twitch is supporting their partners 100. And mm -hmm. obviously, even though you have a smaller percentage of people watching, like Brody, that's fine. You can still... Jesus. <laughs> you can still uh, retain those viewers. I'm obviously just telling you, you know that I love you and I tune into your stream. I think yes. you're an amazing streamer. Go support small streamers. <laughs> Brody, with your bits. No, because it's good that they keep them there because they want to also make sure that they're making money so they make money, right? So this is all obviously a money play for oh, Twitch. Of course, yeah. To get more of those bits from you too. Well, that's Hello. what's that's what's cool yeah. is that as Twitch, if you're making money, they are also making money, right, so which is why they introduced bits in the first place. No, I I know a lot of people that keep a bits wallet. They dedicate part of their paycheck to just bits so that they can spread them the love to streamers. Oh, that's so nice. And now they can use those bits to do really cool things with them. Yo, yeah, if you support small streamers, you're amazing. That's just amazing karma for you, seriously. Like, good on ya. We're gonna Give me your money! Okay, <laughs> it's time to check out stream cyphers in Clip It. Our first clip comes from Ms. Kib, he's making the show a lot this week, mm -hmm. who was watching a social experiment documentary called What Would Happen If 10 Girls Were Left to Live Alone Together? I think you'll understand his reaction. I'm pretty, I'm cool, I dominate the school. Who am I? Just guess. Guys wanna touch my chest, I'm rocking. What the f are you singing? Wait, what? What the f is this? Huh? Yeah. Why would anyone ever want to watch a show like that? Yeah. Um, like, just a, a children in general. Yeah, it's really bad. I, it's don't, really bad. I don't even know how to comment on this because it's like, they're, they're just young girls being young girls. Like, th that's from a movie, I think. That's from, a, like, Bring It On or something. Mm -hmm. uh, something with cheerleaders. I don't know. Where it's just like a, a funny thing that older girls were obviously singing. Yeah. Um, and, but... The point is, that is not entertainment. Yeah, it's just... Why does that exist? Can we delete I that from the want, internet? I, I just want to... I don't know. Where are the parents? That's fair. That, making a buck for the kids being on a show. That's, That's where they are. Anyways, the next clip really comes from the boys yeah. over at Beyond the Summit and their Summit of Time. It features some of Mortal Kombat's unreleased characters. Sashimi Loro Erectile Pokemon Utero Milk Dead That's so good. Real okay. talk, though. I actually that, already, I already have. You uh, have I left it in the, my wallet in the room. Oh That's, god! I got the character debt right in there. Oh rip! I love the move though of debt. How he's like going to like swipe it. <laughs> I love it. utero. Tap it. Swinging the baby around. Oh my <laughs> god! That, that was, was so brilliant. disturbing. Like with the chain and everything. Yeah. And there was some red in there. Yeah. It, I think okay. that was supposed to be the top tier content. Card. Yeah. Top tier. Uh, okay, so now it truly is the best time of day when we scroll the Twitters to bring you all the things the pros bless us with on their timeline. It's the best when pros openly confess their dirty little secrets. This one comes from League of Legends pro Perks, who says, My guilty pleasure is stealing all the Kit Kats from the snack area away from other teams. Ooh. Yes! Ooh. Brody, does this not upset you Ooh. as someone who may have enjoyed a Kit Kat in the player's lounge if he knew they were there? How are you supposed to take a break in the lounge? If all the Kit Kats are gone. Not sponsored by Kit Kat in any way, BG Dubs. Can't take a break of this Kit Kat bar if no. they ain't existent. But would that trigger you? If yeah, the, it yeah. Well, it depends what's, what, what candy bars are left over. And also depends who took them. Because, you know, again, we talked about this before, but top player privilege. <laughs> They got it, and Perks is really a top yeah. player, and so he has that privilege. Yeah, you know what? I'm okay as long as you leave the score bars behind. Take all the Kit Kats <laughs> you want. I don't think that's in the same mix. Hmm? I don't think that's in the same mix. Probably you got not, like Coffee Crisp in there and I like Smarties. Score. I, I like those. But that's only in Canada. No, that's only Canada. Okay. It's only up here, yeah. bud. All right. All right. It's the best when pros travel and give us concise reviews about the places they're visiting. Twitch streamer Mako with the latest. 
Cannot wait to get back to the USA. This Florida ish is whack. <laughs> Florida is. The, <laughs> Florida <laughs> has officially left the USA. They gone. It's its own thing, in all honesty. Yo, there's this game you were teaching me before called Florida Man. Yeah, let's play now. Do it now? Yeah. Okay, everybody, Every, yeah, get your phones out or your computers. Yeah. You can do this too. Search Florida Man and your birthday, just the date, so the month and the day, yeah. and see what you get. Because there are so many Florida Man articles about people doing like weird, crazy stuff in Florida. Yeah, it's just Florida men doing what Florida men do. Okay? All right, what do you get? So I got, um, uh, judge says Florida men can no longer order pizza. Wait, wh why? I don't know. Well, I need to know uh, why this man can't have pizza. What yeah, did he do? Luke, too close to the sun and was banned from ordering pizza after making too many prank calls to restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I guess that's sort Mine's of pretty odd. PG, yeah. Uh, my, mine's not that, it's sort of on topic. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this uh, Florida man uses Fortnite to sexually exploit teens. Oh my goodness! <laughs> that is, Fortnite. yeah, relatable to the show and also horrifying. So let us know what you got. Please put it in chat right now yeah, I so see this. we can see. Oh my gosh, so whack. Florida, man! Florida, man! We're gonna make it real spice here with this last tweet from Rod Breslow, spitting truth! Dudes out here taking girl Snapchat filter pics to be cute, meanwhile sneaky is showing his whole ass and still hotter than all of you, no filter. Brody! Yo! Do you not agree and also please, will you out sneaky sneaky in cosplay? No! That man please, is like, please. that man is built to be beautiful. So are you! I am not. Yes, I, you are. I can be like an okay dude or like boy, I suppose. <laughs> I, I, I can't like... <laughs> When when dudes do the man filter on Snapchat, yeah. it just looks weird, right? Because they're already men. Yeah. I put it on, it actually makes me look like a man. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I mean. You're already you have more feminine features. Yeah, but the, the female so one would doesn't look, look great good. as it. Yes, it does, Brody. Okay. Yes, it does. Just let us dress you up, please, please, please. please I will spam in chat if you want us to dress Brody up. Please, one Give you my right price. Now. And, and no, then no, we'll talk okay. about it. No, no, For now, you'll, you'll we're going to move on to the real crowd control. Okay. <laughs> I've been browsing Twitter, too, and found some good videos I need to show you. Mm -hmm. Firstly, like how Fortnite is now pay to win. Straight up the new hide in the bush play style. <laughs> you just you don't need to be a bush anymore. I am the mannequin. I am the mannequin. That's bush. the Marissa play style. Uh I'm not gonna no, say your play no. style. Your play style is don't install Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't I do not play Fortnite at all, obviously. I'm just not good at I'm not good at building. I've played a lot of Apex and that's fun. Yeah. But it's just like it's not like I'm against Battle Royale in any way. It's just that I can't I, I just can't play Fortnite. We're, I'm just gonna be honest. I can't do it. That's fair. Yeah. I can't either. Not because I can't can't, but because <laughs> I can't bring myself to do it. Oh, uh, like I feel like there's gonna be less and less insults on Fortnite coming from Brody Moore in no, the next no, like, no, no, few no. weeks. Yeah, like just let's soak them all in now change. and enjoy them. Let's bathe in them. All right, for our next pose, we're gonna try to imagine how Pokemon would look in real life with the help of Lindsay Wakefield. You'll like this one, Brody. Take a look at her uh, do duo. That's oh, nice. Oh, and what she Yo, thinks it would look like in the real world. I love, so nice. I love looking at Pokemon in artist renditions of what it'd look in real life. Like, mm. I mean, that'd be freaky. It's like a, a double-headed cassowary, and those things will wreck you, dude. A but, cassowary? Huh? A cassowary? A cassowary. Those are the, the closest things you're getting to dinosaurs. They will heck you up, dude. They will rip you to shreds. We you see the talons on that thing? Yeah, that yeah. was That was basically a cassowary. Go oh. Google cassowary later. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to. They're like, they're you know like what, angry turkeys. Wait, do you know what a capybara is? Yeah, yeah, it's oh. a little thingy. All right. <laughs> Our, <I've, laughs> okay. Our last post shows us how ingrained swearing is in the gaming community and our vocabulary mm. that even when thinking about it, Laserbeam YouTube can't contain himself. Well, I didn't qualify, so shocker. Uh, I was a snowman all game. And then someone <laughs> got me. So, oh, can I not swear? This, this is a family show, mate. Oh, sh I love it. Just, oh, sh do you ever, have you ever messed up on camera? Oh my gosh. Like that? Yes, always. Remember I messed up at, um, when we were doing Gnarly, we were doing that Rocket League stream and I asked, um. That wasn't Marky you messing up. That was Jacob. 
No. Oh no, no. Jacob did that on another Jacob one. Did on another yeah. one. It was me with Marky Duda and asked if he was going to a pub later. And, and oh, it's a G it's a G yeah. rated broadcast and people did not like that because there was children watching and I didn't like you just kind of forget your audience. Um and so that happened to me. I literally walked over to you and Lawler and Lawler's like, Well, yeah, probably shouldn't have said pub. I'm like, no. <laughs> Shoot. Uh, yeah, so I, I've had those moments for Any sure. Any more mess ups? I want to keep hearing about you screwing uh, up. No, I do. I mess up all the time. Are you kidding me? This is like what we do is normally live or live to tape. It's, it's constantly messing up. That's why up. she makes fun of me so much to cover up. No, no, <laughs> I make fun of you because it's fun, but you mess oh. up too. You're, you're, uh, no, you're no angel, you're no saint. The only one was when the camera was on me like this on the RLCS. <laughs> and I have a, a, just an instant tongue reaction of. Ugh. Yeah, nobody wants to see that. Yeah, pretty. nobody wanted to see that. Except you. You enjoy it oh, a yeah. little too uh, much. But the thing is with YouTubers, though, doing these things, they get interviewed or whatever it is. Like, we've seen this before. He's not getting interviewed again. He's not. But a lot of people that just operate on YouTube or it's just like a solo experience with the camera where you edit it later, when they're put in live situations, it's totally different. We saw that with E3 uh, just a couple years ago. So many cringe moments when they decided to bring on influencers or YouTubers to do a live show. It just never really works out. So you have to be weary when you're bringing these guys on. You're paying them money to come down to your events. Just know what you're it's paying for. It's easy to screw up. And yeah, know they just screw up. This this ain't easy. We make it look easy. I know. It's easy. It. Shut up. Listen. That's it for our news today. Remember that you can always hit us up on our socials just to say hi or send us stuff or insult us in some way. Someone type out exclamation point socials right now and we'll see you there. <laughs>